hello everyone this is dr abhi now so in this video today i'll be talking about the neat pg counseling process so i'll just uh, explain to you how does it work and uh, i'll explain everything in a step by step manner so neat pg counseling is a very complicated process as we all know so in this video i've just tried to make it as simple as possible and uh, i think i have uh, covered most of it but in case if i have missed something kindly comment it down i will uh, explain it in the comment section or will make a another video about it so before we start if you are haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and uh, if you are preparing for the upcoming upsc cms exam uh, in the july coming in july so you can get this ebook and start preparing and if you are preparing for INICT you can get these ebooks and for FMG need PG also you can get this ebooks the link is in description so uh, if you have your doubts you can post it in the comment section or you can post it in our telegram group the link is also in description we we can uh, discuss many things in this telegram group which will be very helpful for you so make sure you join there and now starting with the actual part of the counseling so just in basic outline what you will have to do right now is keep checking for notifications in the mcc website which conducts the need pg counseling so this so 2023 counseling is supposed to happen at the end of august or in the first week of september so you've still got a lot of time but uh, once in a while keep checking in this website so once counseling registration date is given you will have to register in the mcc website and after that you will fill your choices and you will get a seat and then you can join your pg so this is the basic outline but there are uh, many many details inside it which i'll be covering in the upcoming slides so this is the basic you check in the website if registration start register and then apply for the counseling and get selected and start so seats so you are basically applying to get a seat you can get a pg seat by two ways either in the all india quota counseling or in the state counseling people who wish to uh, join colleges which are not in their state which are in some other state but you are not a uh, domicile of that state for example a person from tamil nadu wishes to join a college in delhi but he is a domicile of tamil tamil nadu so if he wants to join the college in delhi then he will have to go through the all india counseling but if the same person from tamil nadu wants to join a college in tamil nadu he has two options he can apply all india counseling and through that he can join that college in tamil nadu or he can and also he can apply in the state medical council of tamil nadu and join that call college in tamil nadu so he has two options and uh, what are the seat uh, allotments for what are the percentage of seats provided by each counseling method that i have discussed here so if you see in the all india counseling it has 50% of the government college seats and 100% of dnp seats 100% of diploma seats and deemed university seats in the state medical council it will have 50% of the government seats and 100% of the private seats so for example if you take up a college for example uh if you are taking uh, a college like uh, gmc nagpur so the government medical college of nagpur uh 50% of the seats in that college will be uh filled up through the all india counseling and the other 50% of the seats in that college will be filled through the state counseling so that's how it works but if you see in overall in india if there is a dnp seat at anywhere at any place in the college at uh, anywhere at any place it was it is always to be filled up by the all india counseling state counseling does not participate in the dnb seats 
so state counseling what they can uh, participate is 50% of the government seats and 100% of the private medical college seats so what is the difference between this deemed university and private university deemed universities are universities that uh, come under the mcc counseling so they will be uh, filled up through the all india counseling only and the uh, other colleges the other private colleges which are not under mcc they will be filled up by the state counseling only so i hope this part is clear if there is any doubt in this one please comment it down because you will have to plan accordingly and coming to the fees so registration fees and course fees so to participate in the all india counseling uh, you will have to uh, provide a registration fee which is non refundable so if you want to participate just in the government dnb or diploma quotas of all india counseling then you will have to pay 1000 rupees if you are in the general category or 500 if you are obc sc or st but if you want to participate in the deemed university also through the all india counseling you will have to pay 5000 rupees as a registration fee which is non refundable and then the next fee is security deposit which is refundable so if you are participating just in government dnb or diploma seats then you will have to pay 25000 if you are a general candidate 10000 if you are obc sc st and if you want to participate in the deemed universities in all india counseling then you will have to pay a security deposit of 2 lakhs see uh when you register for all, all india counseling you will be asked which uh type of institutes are you looking for so if you choose gover you want to join government dnb and diploma seats only and you don't want to join in the deemed university seats then automatically you will get a page which will ask you to pay 1000 or 500 but if you opt for deemed universities also then you will get a page where you will be asked to pay 5000 rupees so that is how it works and coming to the course fee for government it will vary depending on each hospital some hospitals will have 16000 17000 fees some will have 1 lakh 20000 so it will depend and these college fees will be mentioned during the time of counseling so when you uh, start doing the counseling or when you start filling up choices you will see how much is the fees for that specific government college so that will be provided during the time of counseling itself so if, if you want to check the fees of any college you during choice filling you can just click that college and check the fees before selecting it so don't worry about this dnb and diploma the standard fee is 1 lakh 25000 and uh, deemed university private universities it depends upon their own uh, university so that can be very high fees so the process general outline is you will register first i have mentioned the uh, fee details already and then you will do the choice filling so during choice filling you can fill as many choices as you want there are no limits so just don't fill 5 or 10 choices fill many number of choices so that you can get uh, the department that you want but caution to be taken is sometimes uh if you are allotted a college then you will have to choose it so i'll explain about those things later when you will have to be careful in the choice filling part and uh, you can also see the stipend bond uh and the preference of which college you want all those things and choose accordingly and then enter it in the choice filling options so this uh individual uh state stipend state bond and uh, your choice your uh, preferences all those things you will have to know before itself so regarding this each state stipend and bond i will make a, another video so that you will get a clarity about it these things uh, will not be there in the website so you will have to know it from elsewhere so what you do is you uh, make a you take a paper and pen and uh, write the stipend and bond for each state and see which state you want to be in so for example some people from 
say Karnataka want to do PG in Karnataka so they want to uh, they want Karnataka as their preference even though the sometimes the bond can be high or the stipend can be low but they are okay in doing it Karnataka so all those things matters some people are okay to do it anywhere in the country so for them the choice of preference all those things will be different so you have to see the stipend the bond and the preference of you and make a list okay so make from the uh, keep your best college at the top and the uh, least choice at the below so you will have to make a list as like that and then you will have to fill choices accordingly and after choice filling you will have seat allotment and then you will get results and then you will have to report to the uh, specific college so this is the MCC website so this is how you will have to register so you can see the online registration here so now it's showing for mop up round but uh, when you see for the when you see when the counseling starts it will just be online registration so you just click that and fill the basic details just like any other uh, form filling and then uh, this is the schedule released last year for the counseling so if you see this is the first round of counseling it says it will start at uh, uh, registration starts at 15 september till 23rd september and then there is uh, choice filling and uh, then there is seat allotment and then you will get results and then you will have to join it so if you see here uh, the jo reporting or joining date is 29th september to 4th october but in the next round the registration starts at 10th october so during this time of 4th to 10th october side by side the state counseling will also be happening so this is the uh, schedule of all india counseling round one so all india round counseling uh, counseling round one will be going on and once that is about to be done the state counseling round one will start and once the state counseling round one has ended all india counseling round two will start and this is how it goes after round two there will be mop up round and then you will have stray vacancy round so there are total four rounds for all India counseling and four rounds for state counseling. So this is the process that I have explained and this is the all India and state quota counseling. So if you see here, first all India counseling will happen and then state counseling round one will happen. Then all India counseling round two, then state round two. Then mop up all India round uh, and then state mop up round. Then all India stray vacancy, then state stray vacancy. So this is the general basic outlines that you need to know before uh, starting the counseling process. So once you have applied and you got your results, how can you proceed? So that I will tell you. So you have, you have registered, you have applied and everything is done for round one and you get the results of round one. All India quota. Now you have been allotted a seat. Now, if this allotted seat is very good, you like it, then you can join and start directly. But if the seat is good, but you want to try it in a better college or a better department, then what you will have to do is, you will have to go and apply in the college that you have been allotted and then tell them that you are willing to upgrade in round 2. So, uh, your seat in All India round 1 will be there but you can try to upgrade it in round 2 so this is how a good allotment goes but if your allotment is not good then you can go for round 2 this is a free exit you, your security deposit will be there you uh, and you can freely exit this round 1 and go for round 2 there is no restrictions as such but if you are not allotted in round 1 then you can directly go for round 2 so this is how after round 1 results uh, the scenario will be like and then you apply for round two you uh, again do the choice filling part seat allotment and all those things done and then you get the results now that you have got the results you have uh, this is how it goes now you have been allotted in round two now it's a good allotment you like the college now you can join and start but in the round two the allotted college or department is uh, not 
as uh, favorable as you wished for and you want to try in mop up round so what you will have to do is you you will just not join the seat that you got in round 2 and you will apply for mop up round so what are the things that you should consider just because you have got a seat in round 2 and you did not join it you will lose your deposit security deposit that we had told 10,000 for OBC 25,000 for general category and then if you want to join in mop up round you will have to pay that deposit again this is how if you get a seat in round 2 uh, the scenario will be like but if you don't get a seat in round 2 you can go for round 3 which is mop up round your deposit will stay and uh, previously I had told about seat upgrading uh, in round 1 so those people who have uh, tried upgrading seat from round 1 they get a better all allotment this time so they can join and start directly but if they don't get a better allotment either they can choose the round 1 seat or they will lose deposit and then they will have to try in the mop up round so that is how it goes now coming to the all india mop up round you have applied again all the seat processing was done and you get the results of mop up round now you have been allotted a college if it is a good allotment you can join and start if allotted but uh, you don't like that college so you don't want to join what will happen is that you cannot proceed to stray vacancy round your counseling is done you will lose your deposit that you have paid for mop up round and then you will have to try the uh, you will have to write the exam next year again and try for counseling so you should know about this uh, and in all india mop up round if you have up, uh, applied and you have not got any seats then uh, you will have you will be proceeding for stray vacancy round in stray vacancy round there is no such what will happen is that whatever choices you have filled for uh, mop up round will be considered for stray vacancy round so if you have filled certain choices in mop up round say 100 choices and out of those 100 choices you did not get any seat in mop up round the same 100 choices will be taken to the stray vacancy round and then uh, they will try to get a seat for you if you get a seat that's good you can join if you don't get a seat that's all your counseling is done so i had previously mentioned uh, while choice filling you'll have to be careful that is because if you see here in round two uh, sometimes you fill thousands of choices and you get allotted in something but it's not good so you will lose your deposit but sometimes you feel uh, if you fill carefully very minimal number of choices uh, in those cases what will happen sometimes is that you will not get allotted in round uh, two so you can go for mop up round and your deposit will stay so you will have to consider the risk of uh, filling many choices because sometimes your deposit can be lost so if you are not understanding this point clearly then please uh, text in telegram group i will uh, explain it there so after yeah after stray we can see round yes the counseling is done so you uh, mop up round you had tried to get a seat you got a seat you joined you got a seat but you don't want to join you will cannot proceed to uh, stay vacancy round but in mop up round you did not get any seat then you can proceed for stay vacancy round but there is no fresh choice filling in 2022 counseling what happened is that even after this four rounds they had uh, started a special stray vacancy round so this is the fifth round of counseling after stray vacancy round but this year uh, i'm not sure uh, how much uh, is the possibility of having another special stray vacancy round so these are the general outlines just uh, just like they have mentioned for all india counseling the state counseling will also have the same pattern so they will also have round one round two mop up round and stray vacancy round and the registration everything will almost be similar to the state state counseling also but the only difference is that in all india counseling you are applying at mcc website in state counseling you will apply at your state medical council website so if you have any doubts beyond this please uh, text me in telegram you can find me there or please comment it down uh, i'm happy to clear those doubts 
so uh, kindly share this video to your friends it will be of uh, great help to them and uh, yeah thank you if you have any doubts please post and uh, ebooks the links in description thank you